Hey everyone, in this video we'll be taking a look at how to use a Morningstar MIDI controller alongside the Eventide Dot 9 series of pedals. I'll be using the Morningstar MC8 to control the Tricera Chorus, Micro Pitch, Ultra Tap, and Black Hole. With MIDI we can control the pedals in a variety of ways, including activating and bypassing, changing presets, syncing time-based effects with MIDI clock, changing parameter values, and using an expression pedal with MIDI. Throughout this video, I'll be referencing the Morningstar Editor, which is how we program the MC8 controller. Let's get into the setup. To get the most out of MIDI alongside the Dot 9s, we need to change a few settings and system setup. The Dot 9s accept MIDI through the expression jack, but we need to make sure that the jack is set to either MIDI Box or MIDI TRS. To do this, enter system setup by holding down the active foot switch and the page button while applying power. The top two LEDs stay lit when in system setup. To set the expression jack, press the page button. Use MIDI box when using a converter box set to tip active, and use MIDI TRS when using a 5-pin MIDI to TRS cable. Using the Morningstar editor, we can set the Omni ports on the MC8 to tip active and use TRS cables to connect. While we're in system setup mode, let's talk about MIDI channels. By setting each Dot 9 pedal to receive MIDI on its own channel, we can send different MIDI messages to individual pedals. To set the MIDI channel, press the tap button, or on black hole, the freeze button, and on Triceracorus, the swirl button. This button scrolls through MIDI channels 1 through 16, as well as an option for Omni. Here I'm setting Triceracorus to channel 1, Micro Pitch channel 2, Ultra Tap channel 3, and black hole channel 4. The MIDI channel and other MIDI features can also be set in Eventide Device Manager. One more feature in system setup to take a look at is MIDI clock. Press the active switch to set MIDI clock receive on or off. By setting MIDI clock receive on for the micro pitch delay and ultra tap delay, we can use MIDI clock to keep the delay times in sync. For Triceracorus and Black Hole, we can set this to off to ignore the MIDI clock. Cycle power to exit system setup. To program the MC8, let's head over to the Morningstar editor. Connect the controller through its USB port. Once connected, we are able to access different preset banks and are given a variety of options for programming each button. The first thing I'm going to set up is activating and bypassing the pedals. In the manuals for the Dot 9s are all of the MIDI messages and the CC numbers to go along with each parameter. For each pedal, CC number 14 is to activate and bypass the pedal. To program the function, press whichever switch on the MC8 that you want to use, and in the editor, send a control change message to CC14 with a value greater than 64 to turn the effect on. A value less than 64 turns the effect off. If you don't get a response from your controller, head over to the editor settings and activate load preset data into editor using switch press. To get this switch to toggle the pedal between on and off, turn toggle mode on and set up one message greater than 64 to position one and less than 64 to position two. To keep it simple, I like to stick to values 127 and one. By changing the toggle name, we can tell whether we're turning the pedal on or off. I'm setting the MIDI channel to 1 to send this message to Triceracorus. The MIDI channels can be renamed in the Morningstar editor for easy navigation. One great thing about MIDI is sending multiple messages with the press of one switch. I've set this switch to activate and bypass Ultra Tap and Black Hole, and another switch for the modulation effects. I set up another switch to turn all four pedals on and off together. To do this, program the same message, but send it to different MIDI channels depending on which pedal you want to trigger. You can even set a switch to momentary by having it turn on the effect when it's pressed and turn off the effect when released. Let's check out how to change presets. Use Eventide Device Manager to easily find and edit presets. Presets are changed by sending program change messages, and each preset has its own program change number. The Dot 9s hold five onboard presets, but are expanded up to 127 with MIDI. Let's say we want to save a preset outside of the top five on Triceracorus. Enter save mode by holding the swirl button, then a program change message will save the preset to the preset slot of the given value. Another thing that's great about Morningstar controllers is the bank jump feature. I like to have an easy way to get back to my homepage, and I'll set the lower right switch to change back to bank one. 
To program a bank jump, select a press action, choose bank jump, and decide the bank that you want to jump to. There are bank up and down features on the Morningstar controllers, but bank jump allows you to switch to any bank with the press of one switch. Bank one is where I can access different banks for each pedal. Also on my homepage is a MIDI clock tap tempo. This is a feature that is sent to all MIDI channels, so it's important to set which dot nines receive the clock in system setup. Now when I tap in a tempo, the ultra tap and micro pitch stay in sync, and when set to tempo mode, we can access different subdivisions. Check out a link in the description for a more detailed look at syncing the dot nines with MIDI clock. Now let's use the controller to change parameter values. Any parameter on the dot nines can be changed using MIDI, including output level, which is something not possible on H9. Let's set a button to trigger black hole's freeze feature. Black hole is on channel four and freeze is CC number 15. We need to send a value greater than 64 to turn freeze on and then less than 64 to turn it off. I've set up similar actions to access Triceracorus's swirl and to change ultra tap's tone from normal to dark. Tone on ultra tap is CC number 26. I've set the switch to toggle between a value of 15 and 64 so that the tone of the repeats can easily be changed. Using Eventide Device Manager, we can see the MIDI values of knob positions to easily find what values to program. Another cool function is being able to hold down a switch to max out the feedback on Ultra Tap, and then return to a lower value when released. To do this, set CC23 to a value of 127 with a press, and then to a lower value when released. The same thing can be done with Black Hole's feedback to easily achieve an infinite reverb. Another way to change parameter values is by using Morningstar's CC waveform generator engines. Use these to imitate the turning of a knob on the pedal. We can set this up in the editor under the controller settings tab. We can choose different wave shapes as well as define our minimum and maximum CC values. To program this function, choose a press action, then CC waveform generator. Set to start the engine and then which engine to use. Then choose which parameter to sweep, whether to run the cycle once or continually, and how fast you want the cycle to go. You can even sync this to MIDI clock. Here I've set up different waveforms to change parameters within Triceracorus. I'm sweeping the filter, mix, swirl, and delay controls to achieve a unique modulation effect. One last way to change parameter values using MIDI is with an expression pedal. To do this, set one of the Omni ports on the MC8 to expression and connect using a TRS cable. We can then choose which CC to sweep, decide minimum and maximum values, and choose the MIDI channel. Here I've programmed the expression pedal to affect the mix control on black hole and also the mix control on ultra tap. It is possible to extend the range of control with aux switches connected to Omni ports on the MC8, which pretty much act as extra buttons on your controller. Star MIDI controller alongside the dot nines, you decide how you want to control the pedals. This setup is not only extremely practical, but can be very creative as well. Be sure to check out MorningstarFX.com and EventideAudio.com for more details.